Hi everyone. I thought I'd do a quick screencast recording on how to improve your WordPress blog posts. First thing I want to draw your attention to is the blog editor. Um, you've got a lot of familiar tools here that you would expect to see uh, in a word processing uh, tool like Word uh, or Pages. Um, you can make text bold or underlined or italicized. Uh, you can do bulleted and ordered lists. Um, you can also use uh, headings to draw attention to sections of your writing. And I do recommend you use headings as they're very important for uh, accessibility. We'll talk more about that later in our course. Um, I've got a quote here in my text that I'm going to pull out using the block quote tool. I also want to encourage you to use links within your text to link to other places on the web, uh, resources you might have found useful or things you want to remember for later. I'm going to link to the homepage for the uh, most likely to succeed website in this case uh, and just apply that to a piece of text using the link tool. I can copy and paste my URL in there and now I have an active link in the text. So there's many other ways that you can integrate other parts of the web into your reflective writing. For instance, uh, I have here the trailer for the film that I want to add to my post. And I can do that just by copying the URL, pasting it into my post, and it'll unpack within the text. So really easy way to link to an embedded video resource. I also found a uh, SoundCloud page that has all the original music from the film. And that's another thing that I could bring into my post. Again, just create a new line, um, paste the URL in, and now I've got that uh, linked into my uh, text as well. This could be really useful if you find a podcast that you want to share. Some more examples. Um, I've got a picture here on Instagram from High Tech High, where the film is based. Uh, I can go to the image URL, copy that, and again, uh, if I paste that into my uh, post, it'll unpack and uh, embed that particular um, photo. A couple more examples. Um, within uh, Twitter, you can find a tweet that might be relevant. Um, here's one that I've posted and I'll just uh, bring that into the text as well and that'll unpack um, inside of my post and lastly one thing you can do as well is you can link to other people's um, WordPress site or um, in this case I'm going to link to um, the course website and uh, if you want to uh, have a a link to that in your post you can uh, just copy the URL paste it again and it'll uh, unpack so very quickly I've integrated very many different sources around the web related to this particular piece of writing and um, the last thing I want to do is create a featured image for this post um, and that'll just give it a little bit more uh, visual appeal uh, so I do that here on the right side and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, upload a file that I found on Unsplash that I quite like. This one here, uh, I remember Unsplash was one of those uh, open resources that you can use uh, to uh, find photos. Um, so I'm going to download this photo and now I've got the actual file and then remember that I have the um, credits here that are presented when I download the file. So I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. And um, now I'm going to upload the image into my post. So I'll just locate that file. And I've got the image loading now. Alt text is important for the visually impaired. 
So um, it is a good idea to add um, some text to describe the image. And I'm going to put um, uh, the caption with the uh, credit that I copied from Unsplash. And I'll set that as my featured image. And I also like to um, just copy the credit of the image at the bottom, just in case as well. So I think I'm ready to go. Uh, I will uh, apply my categories for this particular post and I will publish. And let's have a look at what this looks like. So I've got my image with my credits uh, that I've uploaded and my text with my link, uh, my blog quote, um, my YouTube video, which I can play right here. Uh, I've got uh, my Instagram post. I've got my SoundCloud playlist. I've got a tweet. I've got a link to the course website. And uh, so this is just a quick uh, video to show you all that's possible. Again, you don't have to add all of these things. Add what's relevant and uh, what you feel is appropriate for your reflection. But I do encourage you to experiment with some of these uh, features. Be creative, have fun, and take care.